Hello, welcome to another episode of Pro to Me Plays Mario Maker 2. As always, we're we'll going to be playing through some of the levels from the Waypoint Forum. First up, we have Der Spooky Housen from Heart Note. Probably not how to pronounce either of those things. But let's give it a shot. It's a ghost house. Not play a massive amount of ghost houses. Yeah, it's <laughs> a good start. All right. Yeah, the thing about the nighttime ghost houses is that you can't see anything. Okay. Okay. Oh, God damn it. I think this level is designed specifically to be infuriating. Oh, that was just silly. That was entirely my own fault. That's done though. Uh, I am way behind on the levels in this thread. Which is a shame because I'm enjoying them all so far. Oh god. Please. Let me use you as a torch. Oh, that was handy for a second. Let's go in this door, I guess. Um, did it just bring me out the same place? It's definitely difficult to tell when it's this dark. Uh, no, 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 no! This isn't a trap. That's not promising. Oh no! Follow me over here. I really want that fire flower. <laughs> this time I'll get it. So you try not to hit any of it. Oh wait, it was that one. I thought it was the one next to it. Because I hit all those ones in a row before. Oh uh, yeah, I'm way behind on the levels from this thread. Oh, how are you meant to do that? Oh, <laughs> not like that. It doesn't help that I have been playing a ton of Fire Emblem, so I've not... You know, been using my time to record these. The new Fire Emblem game, though. Pretty great. Alright. That fire, I can actually see. Um, yeah, still pretty early in Fire Emblem. I've only really done like two proper missions, excluding the tutorial one. But then I've also spent hours in that game because tons of it is the kind of running around this school, this like Hogwarts-esque school that is training soldiers essentially. Kind of like Valkyrie Chronicles 2, but better. At least so far. Uh, I've actually really been enjoying it. I really changed things up quite a lot. In a way that I didn't really even feel like Fire Emblem needed. Like, Fire Emblem's not a series that I felt has been feeling like stale or anything. It's just, you know. I'm glad that they did something anyway. Because I would have been happy with just another Fire Emblem game, but. Oh god, I'm back here. Wait. That can't be right. Is there a P-switch door? I have a bad feeling about this level. That's just back up there, right? Uh, try all doors at random. It's gotta work. Jump that. I don't know if that's the intended route, but it's the one I'm taking. 
I think it probably is intended to because that roof's lower than others. I know, you probably want me to go up there. Oh no, this is spit it more than... Okay. So this must be the right way. Oh, so many ghosts. Oh, I'm stuck here now. Oh, well, there goes my fire. That's fine. I didn't even see where I was going anyway. Barely even... Ugh, God damn it. It would have helped there, admittedly. <laughs> if I could have seen that dry ones. Oh, not... Is it dry ones? Dry ones are the ones that's... I guess I'm this one. This one oh. I did it. That was a cool level. That was a good use of the darkness. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> nice. Good job, heart note. I like that one. Scary level. So many doors. That's what ghost houses are known for. Anyway, on to the next one. Next up, Peter Piper's Pipe Pruners by Peregrine38. Easy to say. Not that I'm going to repeat that a bunch. Uh, plants have clogged the pipes. It's flooding. If only we had a plumber. If only. Me set up for Mario, though. Mario's not a plumber anymore. I think it's the official line on him. Ah, uh, that was a good start. <laughs> I definitely botched that right off the bat. I think the water's gotta go down again as well. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Leave me alone, Goombas. So the fan on my laptop started spinning up. Doesn't like recording this level. Uh, the worst never going to get this high, is it? Oh, I don't, need it. don't need it to. No, oh, that was stupid. This is even stupider. What am I doing? It's a cool level. All these pipes. I like this theme. This was one of the ones that was added in too. All these pipes everywhere. All these little pipes. It's cool, I've seen people do some nice looking things with it. Ah oh, jeez. That's definitely not what it's intended to do. It's a good thing I still had that mushroom. Uh, I can get a fire flare. Oh, no I can't, I can get a dead. I can eat that fireball. Why did I just instantly jump? <laughs> Definitely didn't think that through. Oh, there's mushrooms in there. Let's do it. Oh god. Yeah, I wasn't 100% sure if I was going to actually manage to record one of these for this week. Um, ugh. But hopefully I should get two up this week. I've been trying to get two up a week. Which gives me a decent pace to not keep up with the level thread, because I'm still behind, but not fall behind too much. I don't think I'm ever going to catch up with that thread, but I'm enjoying playing levels from it, so... If this video series ever goes away, I'll at least just sit and play those levels. God, oh god, oh god. That, that jump in particular, for some reason, I'm bad at. Yeah, but I wasn't sure I was going to get one this weekend. Because for, you know, to pull away the veil slightly, I record these at the weekend. And then put them up. Usually I record two of them on a Saturday night and then put them up over the week. With the intention that I will record a third one throughout the week and do Monday, Wednesday, Friday releases, and then last couple weeks I've not had a chance to actually record on a weekday. Um, 
But I also need to do a review of that new Killer Kill game. I'm just waiting on my review code coming through because it was a bit late. Because we didn't. We're not a big site. So we heard about it late. Um, but I should hopefully be getting a code for it and then I need to review that. Now we've been playing Fire Emblem. And that level was real cool. Good use of water, good use of that theme. <laughs> that ending had my heart pounding. You're not wrong, Nick. It was just stuff everywhere. Good job, Peregrine. I look forward to seeing the rest of your levels. Sorry that I kind of just talked over your level about <laughs> other nonsense. I was enjoying it though. Next up we have On and Off and In and Out by Eve Secret. Um, Eve Secret is one of the course careers that we've had pop up quite a lot. They've made a bunch of levels. Well, I don't know about a bunch of levels. They've even made a bunch of levels, but I played at least two or three. And if I remember right, some of them were quite hard. The description of this one is just a level inspired by Warland 4, specifically the way you had to hit the frog switch and then get back to the entrance. Basically, you have to go down, hit a switch, and go back the way you came. Okay, cool. Doors. Aha! I see. I assume that's just to respawn this. Because I think go through the doors respawns some things. Okay, so the only way I can get to the exit is if I do this and go all the way back. That makes sense. That's smart. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh, this is all bad. I messed this all up. Eve, help me. Uh, that's probably a bad thing to do. Seems to have went okay though. I forget what the night version of this scene does. Usually there's some kind of gimmick. This one just now just seems normal. Is it the one that power ups chase you? Like the the one that everyone uses for the poison mushrooms? So the desert blows you. The underground goes upside down. Ghost houses are no light. The airship, I think, enemies swim. I don't know how I go in that door. Okay, I guess I don't want to go in that door. <laughs> I should have left that fire flower to see if it followed me. Oh god. Oh god, oh god. I don't think I need to kill this guy. We've got to do it anyway. Because you gotta be ruthless. Ah no! That ruthlessness lost me my fire flower. Oh, those flying spinies are my least favourite. They are... Bro, what that comment say? I don't know. I don't know what that symbol means. Okay, and now this is the return to get out again. That's cool. It's a cool concept for a level. <laughs> Why do I keep losing my fire blur? Oh, this is not going well for old Kieran. Almost got it. Uh, I still need to play more Judgment as well. I don't know why that just came into my head. But I'm really liking that game. It's a really good one of those games. Like a really good Yakuza game. Oh god. But I've just not 
been playing much except for Mario Maker and Fire Emblem. Fire Flowers in this one, wasn't it? Oh, it's just a mushroom because I'm, I'm only a little Mario. And I lost it again instantly. The same way. Ah, entirely my fault. No one to blame for these deaths but myself. Mario's blood is on my hands. Okay. Slow and steady. Just gotta be careful. Wait, what? I was sliding. I think I stopped sliding just as I hit that Goomba. Yeah, these flying spinies are my least favourite because they just randomly fire these spines out. And most of the time that's fine. Some levels. Really, I think I've just got like. Just get flashbacks to Thwomp Romp. Where it's like the only bit of RNG in that level. Oh my god. Ah, uh, that hammer. Fighting hammer bros when you don't have any power ups is. traditionally the thing that kills me the most in Mario games. As you can tell from the way I play these games, I'm not exactly good at them anyway. So, plenty of things kill me in Mario games. Oh, nope. Yep. Survived. No. <laughs> That was the worst thing that could have went. Oh no. <laughs> that was bad. Ah, oh, spinies. I think they're called spinies. As always, I'm bad with names of things. I'm bad with names of real things, never mind. Fake things. Three goddamn hammers. That was. Oh, there's a block there. Great. I kind of guessed that from before because there was a gap there. I didn't think I would accidentally kaizo it and die. But hey. But hey. I did. Oh no, you usually shot up by then. Uses the theme as well. Good coincidence that we got this theme twice in a row. Once nighttime, once not. Oh jeez. That was close. I don't know what was in that blog. I'll never know now. Oh, hopefully it's Fireflower respawned. Well, it's a mushroom, but better than nothing. Hey guys. Oh no. I did the stupid thing. Oh, please come back faster. Probably could just jump that, to be honest. Oh, I need to actually jump over the chain jump. Oh, they ripped back so much harder. Especially when you mess up that first jump. Okay. We've got some real platforming on our hands. If I keep this, I can get a fire flower. But that's easier said than done when you are bad at Mario. Where'd that little one come from? That one almost killed me. Okay. Careful. Careful. I <laughs> think that last one just spits out one of those little black plants. I 
Wait, you jump. Damn it! Well, let's go my revenge. Let's get this mushroom and then lose it instantly again. Let's not jump into the fire this time, though. Let's kill this bullet bell as well. There's the little arms. I assume those are meant to be arms. That'd be like the the what's his face? Agonum from Link to the Past's necklace where it's just a, a people looking at it wrong. Looking at where his face is meant to be wrong. Maybe these build bells don't actually have arms, it's just like a reflection or something. I think it's little arms though. Little buff arms. Oh my god. Spinies that stop causing hell for me. <laughs> the worst enemy. Okay. Oh no, there's swamps here. Is there a mushroom? That I instantly lost in the dumbest way possible. Didn't need it anyway. Because I'm gonna just nail this whole section. I definitely not get hit by anything. Um, thank you. Uh, okay. I don't think I needed to do it that way. Please tell me there's a mushroom or something in one of these. Oh, thank God. So this must take me back to start. And then this will go around the other way. Oh god damn it. Oh no. Oh no. Where was the last checkpoint? It's all the way back down there. Oh no. Alright. Again there. Near the end. The end is in sight. I can do all this bit now. This is... I've got this bit down. I genuinely thought that Goomba was going to land on me and kill me because I said that. I'm be real... exactly what should happen. Don't worry these guys, they're more scary than they are deadly. Uh... Oh, screw it. I'm just gonna use... Oh no! I was trying to use the invincibility to kill him. Oh, I was too slow. Kept missing. I just want to see what's in that block, because it might just be another mushroom. And that'd be handy. Oh, damn it. Well, I'm definitely not going to find out. I keep wanting to go in that gap to the right, but the, the thing's still scrolling, so that's the edge of the level. Damn it. So there's nothing through there. This level shouldn't be taking me this long. It's not that hard. <laughs> I'm just messing up. It's the one that's really warming me up for this video. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Impatience kills me again. Just get my rain from the ceiling. Right, let's find out what's in this block. Oh, it's just a mushroom. Not the most useful thing in the world, but hey. I mean, I had to lose my other one to get it. But hey, it means if you get hit there, you can get it back and you can get the fire flare from here. I guess this isn't the one where they follow you. There must be a gimmick for a nighttime version of this level. I'm just missing it. It's probably something super obvious. Right. Go away, you stupid chain 
jump. Uh, are chain chomps like the, you know, the dog breeds that lots of people think are really dangerous, but actually it's just because their owners are bad? Are chain chomps actually like really affectionate, loving pets? And just their owners have taught them to be vicious? I don't think so, given they are literally cannonballs with spiky teeth, but I don't know. Ah, this spawns more. Okay. Thank you, Eve Secret, for thinking about my stupidity ahead of time. Thank you for taking dumb people into consideration when you designed your level. Alright, this is a good place to be. I see, before I instantly die. North Womp. You can... No, not die. I thought I was going to kill him. Ah! Did it! Did it. That was a great level. I really like that. I was bad at it. Quite a bit worse than the top one. It looked like there were some good comments there. I say be careful. <laughs> the Illmatic comment is fantastic. Uh, this one speaks up. Any other really good ones? The Magic Kestrel one's good. That Akin one's fantastic. I don't really know what it is. But it looks cool. <laughs> yeah, that Illmatic one's great. Anyway, great level in general, Eve. Oh, I should have mentioned actually, uh, Eve Secret is Donut Secret on the forums. I realized I didn't do that for the last couple of these. Uh, Peregrine is also called Peregrine on the forums as well. It's, yeah. On to the next one. So funnily, the next level on the forum thread is actually by Harukio on the forums, or Akin on here, who's the person who did that artwork I couldn't decipher on the previous level. Which is quite funny. Pana Bypass. Are those... is that three stars thing part of the level name? I didn't know you could do that. Odd. Clear creepers to make your way through. Red coins are optional. Okay. Cool. I'm glad. I'm not really the biggest fan of red coin stuff. Never have been. It's never been really my favourite thing in Mario games. I've done it in a lot of them because... I like the 100% Mario games because I'm crazy. Uh, right. oh God. So I'm guessing the main thing this level will be using is those blue piranha plants. I don't know what their names are because... Oh god! That didn't go well. Honest, I went down there! Let's go bounce back. Did it collect whatever's down here? Oh, collect the red coin for me. I forgot the shells can do that. Uh, well, happy to have the three world theme back. Still my favorite. Oh, no. Let's, nope. <laughs> There's invisible blocks everywhere. Oh, that, that, poor, that poor mouse. I get the impression this level's a bit more like exploration based. These come back up, don't they? They sure went out for a long time. I didn't realize you could make them that long. It sure doesn't look like that. Okay. He's got a long jump. Oh, now it's going back, of course. Ah! No! Throw things up in 3D world? Nope. Only in world. No, 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 no. Alright, let's take a shell with me. I can't. Listen. 
don't do anything. Oh. Oh no, it doesn't. It can't get through that. I thought I had to hit it that way. But it can't get under those. Well. If I get it started. No! <laughs> no! I messed up one even worse! How did I not die there? By all accounts, I should definitely have died there. That's my karma. Dying in a dumb way afterwards. <laughs> Oh god. This level's good, but I'm messing up already. Like that. Come on, shell. Go get me that coin. Fetch me my coin, shell. This is just the mushroom regardless. I don't think there was anything up there that really mattered too much. I think I got another coin. I mean, red coins are optional, but that doesn't necessarily mean... I should not bother with them. Let's try to get the coins. I assume there's something at the end. Or maybe it makes like the last section easier or something if you have all the coins. Was there a coin up here? Oh no, there was a one up. I had two coins by this point before. Did I miss one? Am I going crazy? That's fine. We'll figure out later. Let's. What's down here? I feel nothing. Super thing. I bet I can make that. I'm not bothered though. Let's get these turtle shells set up again. I know to get hit by them when they fall. Alright, let's see if this works. This is a cool idea. Assuming this is the intended way of doing this. Oh no, because then. Oh, because then you get another one, hit it again. Ugh. Whoops. I was right there. God. That was a dumb way to lose that. Like that shell no wonder. It despawn. I feel like the 3D world stuff despawns way faster. Probably because it, you know, is 3D models and is more detailed than your Super Mario Bros. world, so it probably needs some more memory. I'm not going up there. I don't need to go up there. But I assume that means I need to go across here and get it to spawn this way. Okay, my mushroom instantly lost. Damn it! A lot of people died there. Get going. Get the coin. We'll wait here so you don't despawn. Or that gumbo. If I'd managed to get that before it went all the way across, that would have been good. I wonder if you can do that if you're fast enough. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. No! Oh. How did I mess it up again? 
I hope this is intended way and I'm not making this look way more complicated for myself. It seems like the right way. Something that misses that last one there. Oh, give me... No. I think that could put the coin faster. Sometimes the shell seems to bounce off before you want it to. You can't really do much about it. Right there. Give me another shell, come on. Oh, damn it! <sighs> so close. It's a good use of these prime plants. I haven't really seen them used that much. Oh, damn it. Except, um... What's that level I played near the start of the series? Oh god, I thought you can do a forward roll. Um, they used these to kind of separate the sections out because it was like a puzzle level. I like that one. There's also 3D World. Oh, it has to be because these are only in 3D World. Oh, stupid me. Right. You... Lost. You get lost. Go to this. Here we're going to come down. And I'm going to get this. Come on. Oh, the thwomp does it. That's pretty good. It's a good use of thwomps. I didn't even notice they were there. Yes! Checkpoints! I love checkpoints. And we also love transparent pipes, as silly as they are. As pointless as they always are. They're cool. Alright, two coins. Oh, I missed a coin back there. Wait, is that it? Oh no, I can go down here. Duh. Duh. Please take me away from this piranha plant. Free me. That's pretty cool. That's my idea. Oh no, what if there was something cool in there? Like a mushroom? Oh, there's a mushroom here. Whoa. What if there was like a star in there? Oh, God. I messed that one red coin up there. But yeah, that's a cool use of um, the Bill Bells to take out the prime plant. Oh, God. Nope, well, that's fine. I can live with that. So the only coin that's left is that one back up there. I don't think I can get back there now. I got lost my chance. Oh, that's a big noise. That's worrying. Uh, I'm gonna waste you to go in there. I don't know why I thought there would be anything there. I know where the last coin is and I've missed it already. This fall down, that's smart. Lots of good smart things in this level. Whoa, 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 no! No, oh, there's stuff up there. I want to know what the red coins are for now. The door back there probably must just take you up above the flag. That's cool. I really like that level. Good job, Akin. I think both the comments are by people from the Waypoint Forum, which is cool. Next up we have 19 question mark by Wex. They are called Phantom Lancer on the forums. There's a bunch of numbers and stuff in there. 
Uh, they described this as a sort of quick moving level with warp piped and blind drops, nothing too fancy or technical, just wanted to try out the tools. Neat. Um, let me do them. Uh, I think I mentioned this before, but all the level codes will be in the, the description below. I think I keep forgetting to say it because I've done... It's the opposite of how most people would do this, where they do things so many times it gets implanted in their memory and they do it automatically. I do things so many times that I take it for granted that everyone already knows and then just don't do them anymore. Which is a bad way to handle it. But I do think most of the people that watch these videos are from the Waypoint Forum, so they came here knowing what levels are in it already, because I post it in there. But that's not an excuse. At least a handful of you are probably not from there. Okay. Interesting levels so far. Lots of stacks of enemies. Oh god. I've not really seen a lot of enemy stacks in this game. No one really seems to use that anymore, which is a shame, because it's a cool, weird mechanic. I think one of the first levels I played had a, a boss that was a bunch of enemies stacked on top of each other. Okay, but well, one, well, come do stuff. Oh, that was, okay, as if you went down the other way, I guess. You can't pick up bomb bombs and marbles, so. Does that pipe go somewhere? Oh, it goes to the end of the game. I want to go and explore that last bit though. Oh jeez. Ah, you must be able to get up there. I'm gonna explore a bit, because this level seems pretty short if you just go straight that way. But there's obviously more, because there's this stuff up here. I didn't know you could transfer between vines. Lots of neat things in here. Okay. I literally don't know how you get to that Bowser Jr. fight then. Oh well. Cool level. Yeah, I didn't think you could transfer between vines. That must feel like a really like simple, easy mechanic and I just never noticed it. I don't use vines very often to be fair. Oh, this. Leave me alone, Bowser Jr. I'll try getting this flower. Leave me alone. Nope, 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 nope. No. Oh, let's smash these. Or ruin the end. That's a cool level. Plus little things to kind of look around and see. Stacks of enemies. Always good. I don't know how you get to Bowser, but... Hey. Not bad. I think it was their first level as well. I think that's what it said on the description. Good stuff. I enjoyed that one. It was definitely the breather I needed after that last one. Whew. Anyway. On to the next level. Next up we have Four Tombs, Four Treasures by Stargrave. Same name on the forums. It's about... Finding things. Four optional dungeons. I'm going to probably try all of them so we can show off the level a bit. Unless it's super, super difficult. <laughs> oh yes, Super Mario World. Feels like forever since I've played this. I mean, not that it actually controls differently. These all, these all play like New Super Mario Bros. The one downside of Mario Maker uses the same New Super Mario Bros. physics for everything. Okay, so it's the entrance to the first dungeon, I guess. Uh. Okay, I guess not. Oh, I guess maybe East Dungeon has a power up in it. And this first one is just a firefly. That would make sense. I did say there'd be something to help you along your way, and that's kind of limiting thing in Mario Maker. Can I go down here? Should I go down here? Well, <laughs> no, I should not go down there. Oh, I could have went right to the left. A lot of other people had the same idea as me. At least I'm not stupid. Oh, 
you give me this so I can get the fire flower. So this must be the first treasure. I like these little rooms. It's a good, good use of the locked camera stuff. I wonder if there's a P-Block like up there or something. Because I think you're meant to use a P-Block. Please don't need a key! Oh no! I might have made a mistake. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Let's get a key. There must be four keys. Because they said you get all four treasures. And I'm gonna. Holy stack. If it's really just not a power up, it's going to just get rid of this fire flare that way, all this effort to get. Maybe I'll need it. Maybe I need the fire flare. Maybe it'll make getting the second key easier. Oh, no. Okay. Phew. Thought I was stuck. Good thing Mario is not claustrophobic, because Jesus. Uh, <laughs> yeah, having the fire flower would be very useful here. Come on. No. Now I'm little. Am I stuck? I might also be stuck. No, <laughs> I can be stuck. I was trapped here forever. Okay, this time I'm not going to lose a fire flower. I'm not going to get stuck in the hole. I'm going to get the key. I'm going to go back and use it in the other door. Even if you're meant to get P-switched or something, which is why I kind of guess based on the the right the line of like coins and stuff, uh, it shouldn't it shouldn't do anything bad, right? Let's hope. Let's hope. Ugh. Sitting weird. My legs hurt. The things I go through for my love of Mario Maker. Got over it. Let's go here. What should be nothing? What should be like a piece of it? A fire flower. Oh, I was not far off. But it makes sense. This will let me get back out of there. I kind of guess none of these dungeons we're going to have, uh, or these tombs, we're going to have a second exit. Fly, Mario, fly. Right, now watch me lose this cape instantly. Because that's how these things always go. Uh, this green one. Needs another key. Of course. So basically, anything that goes underground is going to need a key. This is evil. It's a misuse of chain jumps. Where? There must be a key back there, because this must go down for another one. Uh... <laughs> I love that sound effect. I feel like I've missed something. Uh, oh god. I think I missed like two of the tombs. Just in the level. Well, you can go explore and find the Archer tombs on your own. I just didn't see where those keys were for those. 
think I need to bounce on this bonsai bills. Ah, Kibble, if you're wrong, you can't get stuck behind the first pipe. You can jump over it. That's cool. I'm probably going back to that in my own time and find out what's in those other two tombs. That's interesting. I like that. I like that as a concept. It's very smart. Next up, we have Blink Cat Carnival by Slime Siren. Same name on the forums. I've played a couple of Slime Sirens levels in the past. That swingy one. And the not swingy one. I forget what the other one was. They were good though. So this is all time and based. Oh god, is this going? Okay, I thought this was a auto scroller. You can make fair with water auto scrollers, and it's bad. It's bad. Give me the cat to. It's just a lot of these blinking blocks. Description was. Timing is key, and keys are key. So I assume there's going to be keys at some point. pipe as always useless but they look cool and that's the important thing that is not good timing okay it seems somewhat lenient I assume it's going to get less lenient though Basically, nope, nope, that was entirely my own fault. Um, as I was going to say, this is basically Slime Siren kind of teaching us how the mechanic works. And then Slime Siren will pull the rug out from under us, I'm sure. Well, maybe not, but they'll make it a little bit harder. Or maybe not, I don't know. Not all level needs to be super difficult. This is challenging enough as is. Nope, 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 nope. That was sometimes the cat power up. A little bit finicky. It's really the dive. I need to stop using the dive. I don't think you really need it for this level. But every time I do it, I just mess up. Why did this off me fall there? Um, yeah, I'm going to try and not use the dive anymore. That was silly. That was my fault. No one to blame but myself. Got a little bit closer to my microphone. Yeah, that was also stupid. It's weird how long it takes you to fall when you fall off this bit. Must be an airship thing. I don't think I've ever actually played on the 3D World airship theme. I have, I don't remember. It looks like it's nighttime as well, but that might just be how the 3D World one looks. Right, I'm gonna wait for this one to go. I need to stop using the. Goddamn leap dive. I don't think you, I think I need it here. Yeah, I would not have been able to make that. Okay. Take it easy. It's not that hard. Don't jump off it stupidly like last time. I basically want to just time it for when it starts beeping you want to jump basically like two in, roughly. Seems pretty safe. And it gives you enough leeway to... Oh, I got the key! 
That's not... a... Oh my god. Yes! Slime Siren, you genius. If you build a good murder trap, then I'm gonna like your level. Uh, lots of plants over there. Oh, I was hoping I'd get that. Oh god, there's bob bombs spawning over there. That's also a route, I guess, but I wanna go up. I wanna see what's up there. What's going on over here? What is this? I like putting stuff like that on my level as well. I hope that's intentional, like as a thing that you can go and get stuck in or something. But one of the first levels I made has uh, Yoshi in an area that you could technically get to. But I just constantly drop bombs on him, so you can just sit and watch him get blown up a bunch. Because, yeah. I am really doing badly at this bit, huh? There we go. That was too early. Oh, I got it. Just. No, that was too early as well. Okay, let's just see what's in this. It's gonna drop me into the bombs, isn't it? Uh, that's a whole lot. Okay, I'm gonna go back and try to do this first. I wonder if it's just branching paths? It's quite cool. I wanna do this way. This way seems like the, the more interesting way. Key! God damn it, so I do need to go in there. <sighs> All that. I should have believed that was after all. Okay, so it's not optional, I needed both these. Which is fine. I just didn't know. Oh yeah, this is literally just to get that key up there. I am dumb. I should have trusted that Slime Siren wasn't trying to pull the wool over my eyes. Give me the key. Can you just get trapped in there if you don't leave? I assume you could. Because you can't go through these blocks. And that door disappears if there's no switch activated so you would just get trapped up there. Let's wall jump up here. Odd. Okay. Now let's do that hard platforming bit <laughs> already did. I mean obviously I'm a pro at it now though so this is easy. If I land that low on something, I'd panic. Hmm. Nope, too early. Why'd I do that? That was just silly. That was even sillier. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Siren somehow knew ahead of time that I would make those stupid, stupid jumps. No, no, no! 
It's okay, there should be a cat suit in this one as well, I assume. I can recover. That sneak block probably... Oh my god, no, I've... I've lost it there. There was a checkpoint there, right? No. Ugh. Ugh! Oh, no, this checkpoint was all the way back here! Oh, I messed this up so badly. Okay. It's fine. I can do it. I got that far. That jumping wasn't really that hard, I was just being silly. I can do it. I can do it. Can. Oh my god, I can't wall jump tonight. I keep accidentally hitting down apparently. It doesn't feel like I'm hitting down. My controller's fine. Because I'm using the Super Nintendo one for the Super Nintendo Mini. Super Nintendo Classic Mini. Which I own and have not turned on in months. But hey, at least it's a way to play Super Nintendo games. Given it doesn't seem like Nintendo's ever going to put them on the Switch. I had the urge yesterday to play Mario 64 and had no way to do it. I would have paid money to. When those kind of urges appear, I will sometimes spend money on games that I really have no reason to spend money on. But Nintendo doesn't want my money, I guess. It's too early. I can recover from this. The only thing I can't really recover from is if that snake block goes away and I'm not on it because it seems like it takes so long. Alright, alright. Don't let it do that thing again where it locks you out. God, I thought it was going to crush me for a second there. It's more something Crimson Bale its levels with the... Look round on itself and push me off. Oh god, oh god, oh god, okay. Can climb up those indefinitely. Hey, look! Slime turn, use this mechanic. I was the only one. Oh god. Oh no! What? The thwomp's more powerful than I thought it was. I was just happy to see someone else use the mechanic of being able to redirect the, the, the bonsai belt. If you watched the last episode, I made a level around the idea. But couldn't think of an idea how to make it fun. Um, Slime Sirens came to the better conclusion of uh, don't make it your core mechanic, silly. Which is smart. Oh my god. I don't know why I keep heading down. It's only in this section as well, though, so it must just be as I'm kind of moving between left and right. Become a cat again. New version of live action version of cat starring Mario. And it will be just as horrific. Right. Jumping on the two seems ideal no matter what the context is for these. Like it seems to give you enough time no matter what. Okay, I'm just getting too brave now. Oh god. Wait, what did I have there? Oh well, 
find out now. We shall find out. I'm just paranoid that this is gonna do what happened that first time and get me stuck. I mean, that wasn't his fault, it was my fault, but still. Oh, there's blocks there, so it makes this bit easier. That's smart. So I just wasn't doing that wall jump bit good enough before. I don't know what I'm meant to do here. Oh. Okay, it's the last one. I was like, oh god, I'm gonna die. It looks like even if you had stayed until it switched, you would have landed on something. That's a cool level. Good use of the, all the kind of cat mechanics in the 3D world. It was smart. I'm gonna add to the numerous cool ideas. But yes, good job, Slime Siren. Continue to make great levels. Next up we have Carmelo's Trench Moat from Diego. Diego actually put three levels into the their first post on the thread. I mean, oh yeah, it's the first post. Um, this is going to be the last level I play in this video though, so I'm going to do this one and I'll start next one with the other two. I feel like there was one that I have to play from a previous person that I didn't play because they put a bunch in one lap. Uh, post. I'll look up that between videos though. But yeah, this is going to be the last one for this, which is probably a good choice because it seems like it's probably quite hard based on the clear of it. Oh god damn it. Some real precision platforming to start with. I wonder if you could cheese it and get a bunch of these to fire out and use them to like jump on them to climb up on the outside of this. I wonder if that would even help you. Oh god. That was a bad thing to do. This is real precise. Oh no! Oh, did this walk too close? I'm gonna try my stupid thing. Oh, I don't think I can. I think they overlap too much. Yeah. One more time. Just for fun. I think if they were closer together, I could bounce off that one. As is, they're too far apart. Oh well. Thought I could cheese it. I bet the end is like all blocked off, or you have to go down a pipe before you come back up, or something. Anyway. Yes. Yes. Oh Jesus. Good timing on that. No, oh, I'm gonna die. Yeah. I stayed there for too long, I needed to just jump. Being too cautious. No, oh, I didn't realise I was under that block. The downside of this game using New Super Mario Bros. physics is that they're a little bit slidey. A little bit of, like, Mario doesn't come to a dead stop like he used to. Like, I don't hate the new Super Mario Bros. physics, they're just not... I mean, also, they're better than the original Mario Bros. Original Mario Bros. just not aged super well. Like, it was one of the first, like, great platformers, so of course, you know, 
things advanced. Oops. But for example, New Super Mario Bros. controls like significantly worse than Super Mario World or Super Mario Bros. 3. So it's kind of a shame that they went with those as the physics, but it makes sense also. So, oops. I am messing up in really easy ways. Good thing I chose this to be the last level because it's gonna take a while. Oof, that was just dumb. I know. I thought the timing would just work out again, but I was just lucky that first time. It's not like it's perfectly timed in some way. How would that even work? Silly Kieran. Ah, oh, that was reckless. Reckless, I tells you. I wonder how long this level is. Am I even, like halfway through it, or is there going to be tons of this? Because I feel like when you make a level this hard, you need to keep it brief. I don't know. Oh, damn it. I need to stop just running off that. Silly. Further than the last time, at least. That's all I can ask for. Why did they do it again? the Super Nintendo controller. That was silly. Um, but yes, I will play the other two levels from this post at the start of the next video. Or throughout the entirety of the next video if they're this hard. <laughs> uh, but I also am not going to record that level, uh, that episode tonight. So hopefully it'll go up this week. Hopefully if I have time tomorrow to do it, but again, reviews to do. Uh, there will be a video review for Kelikel. Not the Switch version. I did ask, but they were out of Switch codes, which is unfortunate. But hey, that's life, eh? Damn it. Uh, but I did play the demo of the Switch version of that Kill a Kill game, and it seems good. Like, the Switch port seems... It, it doesn't seem like they just did... I hate... I don't want to be reductive, because I know they, there's more to it. Like, I've, I've done game dev, I know it's not just that easy, but... Um, like, a lot of ports to the Switch of current-gen games tend to just have dynamic resolutions as their primary thing. They also bump poly counts down and stuff like that. Oh, so close. But the main thing they do is they lower the resolution to make everything look real blurry and bad. Like, that's how the... I mean, they look fine, but they, they don't look as good as good. That's how the Doom port works, that's how the Wolfenstein port works. To a lesser degree, Warframe. Uh, but that Kill a Kill port, based on demo at least, it feels like they actually used different models or something. I mean, not necessarily different models, maybe they were low poly enough already. But the resolution seemed relatively high. At the least it didn't look blurry, so maybe they're doing some interesting AA or something like that to sharpen it up. Um, but yeah, it didn't look particularly blurry, it looked quite sharp. Which is interesting. You don't see that a lot with current gen ports to the Switch. It's not really what the Switch is. It's not really that powerful. Powerful enough for me though. I'm happy for my Mario Makers. Oh Jesus. My 
on Fire Emblems. Although I do wish Fire Emblem had some anti-aliasing, because boy is it jaggy. Uh, I keep doing that. I keep just like sliding off the end of it. Uh, oops. More games coming out soon for Switch. So Switch has so so much stronger. That is not a way to phrase that. That doesn't work. It has a much much stronger year in general, but in particular the second half of the year coming up. I need to wait for that. Um, than the other consoles. I mean, we just got Mario Maker. And Fire Emblem and Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, which I've been playing a bunch as well, and that game's really good. Um, Astral Chain's coming up. Demon X Machina's coming up not long after that. And what else we got? Link's Awakening. Uh, Luigi's Mansion 3. Like, there is just a ton of games coming. It feels like Nintendo's whole thing of, hey, our portable devs, like our 3DS devs and our Wii U devs are all going to be working on games for the same console, is finally kicking in. So the last couple of years have been good. There's been some games. But we're talking about like at least one, if not two big ass games every month for the Switch. For the second half of this year. Which is nuts. On Nintendo, and that's not even counting Pokemon. I'm gonna be bankrupt. It's just because I need to buy two copies of Pokemon, I need to buy one for my girlfriend. It makes me glad Animal Crossing got delayed. Because I've not built to afford two copies of Pokemon and Animal Crossing at the end of this year. But I feel like it's. A relatively quiet year for games in general. At least second half. First half's been pretty strong. Like, at least for things I like. There's not a massive amount coming out on the other systems. But the Switch is just... Dominating. First half of the year was surprising though. Devil May Cry 5 was really good. Resident Evil 2 was... I think I may have said before, even one of these videos before that I don't oh that was bad timing I have no nostalgia for Resident Evil 2 like I, I didn't really like those old PS1 Resident Evils very much I just thought they were clunky and not very fun uh, I get why people like them but I just don't I don't they're not my kind of game so when they remade Resident Evil 2 I was like eh this will be fine and they ended up being great it's probably my game of the year at the moment although Mario Maker 2 is very close Fire Emblem might even be up there now. Devil May Cry 5 I really liked, except for some of the level design in that game's a bit me. It's been a good year. I should probably play Division 2. Lowest on my list is like Rage 2, I think. I think that's probably the worst thing I played this year. The game was... What? He even killed me! I did not touch those spikes. Uh, Rage 2 was bad. I was disappointed in that. Especially given that I was so excited about it because... Well, not so excited, but I was kind of looking forward to it. Because it was the developers that made that Mad Max game, which I was one of the only people in the world that really loved. And it was a sequel to Rage, which I also really loved. Again, not the popular opinion on Rage, but I really liked Rage. Oh my god, I was apparently slightly under that spike. Uh, but it's a bad sequel to both those games. It's, it doesn't capture what made either of those games fun. The gunplay is decent, I guess, but the actual encounters are just bad, so it's not, it's not very fun. And then it doesn't look very good. Like, it looks worse than both of the games it's a sequel to. Which is nuts. They're on well, though. Oh my god. Oh my god. This level will be death of me. 
don't think I'm skilled enough to beat this one. But I'm making progress every like 30 tries. So, Diego, I hate you. I hate you, Diego. I don't actually hate you. Your level's just hard. And I'm not good enough to beat it. But I'm gonna anyway. We've beat hard levels on this show before. Yours isn't gonna be... As we say, well, it breaks the trend, but actually there's been others that have broke the trend already. That... These spikes are just... I feel like they... Something makes them too easy to hit. Oh my god. Like so much. I look forward to getting like past the bit I'm stuck at and finding out this level's another like three screens long and it gets harder. And that this is the easy bit. Almost slid off there again. Okay, wait for this to come back. Do that, do that. I was not under that. I don't know how you're meant to do that. The moment you jump, it's like you hit the spikes, even if you're nowhere near it. Ugh. Okay. I thought I was being overly cautious there and moving farther to the right. Like, I thought I was moving dangerously close to those other spikes. Although I don't think you can hit those ground spikes while you're standing on a thing. I think you could probably actually even run over them. I'm not gonna risk that. Oh no! It's really hard to stop once you get on there. That's why I jumped to try and stop myself. Ah! Mario. But yeah, it's been a good year for games. I'm only halfway through it. A little over. people don't listen to my podcast, uh, one, you can find it just by searching for Glitch Free Gaming on whatever your podcaster of choice is. Podcatcher, I guess. Of choice. I personally use Overcast, but... Oh my god! Oh my god, there is a pipe! I'm so scared. This level might just be too hard. Um... Yeah, you find us a glitch free gaming. We do usually a four or five part uh, game of the year podcast at the end of the year. I say the end of the year. It's usually in like March because uh, time. Because this isn't any of our jobs. We don't get paid for this. So the time that we can actually find to record stuff is way after the fact. It's usually end of February. Which is also a while away. We can listen to our stuff from last year if you are interested in hearing what we feel about games. And we try to record a podcast every week. This year it's really been every two weeks. Um, just personal stuff has been going on with all of us. Real life gets in the way and again we don't get paid for any of this. Like even these videos don't have adverts. It's very much just, hey... 
we enjoy doing it. We enjoy recording a podcast and talk to each other once a week. If we can't do it, we can't do it, but hey, we try. These videos are very much just, I enjoy playing Mario Maker and this gives me an excuse to dedicate time to it. Dedicate time to Diego teaching me that actually Mario Maker's hard. I will say this level is good. Like it's not like I'm dying because of issues in the level. Except for maybe that these spikes are a pain in the ass. But it's not really Oh my god, that bike keeps It's because I'm running and it's like hard to stop because you keep the momentum. The momentum. Right, 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 right. Let's keep running. Let's do this. Let's be overly ambitious. Oh god. At this rate, I might need to do this one next level, uh, next episode as well. I keep saying this has been happening since the first episode. I keep saying level instead of episode. I am very behind on the forum thread, which is kind of annoying because I follow the thread and people keep posting levels and description stuff like that and because it's been a few weeks since the game came out now, people are getting more elaborate and doing some real interesting stuff and I can't play those levels because I'm waiting to play them on this. The weird double-edged sword of um, playing these levels on these videos it makes it so that I have a dedicated time to do it. Oh god damn it! Uh, but also means that I can't just play them. <laughs> I can't just do it, which is fine. It's not a bad problem to have. And at some point I'll probably stop making these videos and then I'll just binge all those levels. Although, not really, because it'll still be like this. It'll still be me getting stuck. It's not like I suddenly get better when I'm not recording. Although that'd be cool. I think I've, oh, God damn it. I think I've got used to talking and playing now, so it's not, it's not like that's an issue. It's definitely hard when you first start though. Definitely harder if you're talking to someone though, and not just into the void. Because we did, um, Paul and I did, and we keep saying we're going to do more of, um, a run through of all those NES games. Oh, damn it. I was not under that spark! The hitbox on that is nuts! Um, those NES games that you get with the online, we played through all of the ones from launch. And that was kind of hard, because we were talking to each other at the same time, and we were trying to play these levels. It was hard. I beat him uh, Ice Hockey, and Madden, or whatever NFL game it was, I don't think it was Madden on the NES. Ugh. <sighs> We need to go back to more of those, because they've been releasing like two or three games every month. And so we recorded that in like, I don't know, the month they came out. So we have tons to play through. Oh god, I am progressing. That was silly as well. All right, I'm going to probably have to call this soon and just give up on this one and try beat it my own time. Let's get a goal. 
Like, it's hard. Ah! I thought I could catch it. That's being greedy. Yeah, I've got the start bit down. The start bit's easy. The start bit's also easy. Probably run there. Yes. There's that timing you want. Oh, damn it. Ah, <sighs> so close. I can see it. I can smell it. I need to go with some, I need to go with some that pipe. Is it more, even harder sections? If it is, then I'm definitely not going to finish this in this video. Because this is already hard. Oh. <sighs> But yes, there'll be video content from us coming up soon. I want to do some more board game stuff as well, because we've not done any board game reviews in quite some time. And I just got a new camera, so... We can actually do slightly nicer looking, not just recorded on a phone kind of videos. Uh, not that recording on the phone's that bad, like... The new iPhone's cameras are very good. And my camera's not that much better to be honest. It's a, I didn't buy some big fancy DSLR, it's just got, oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay. No! No! Hey, if you jumped on top, you could totally skip all this. There's coins over there. Okay, now my hope is like renewed because I got so close. But I still don't have faith that it's not just more hard level under there. Uh, I forgot what I was talking about now. Oh, my camera. I got a little mirrorless camera, so it's not, like, amazing. It's not some big high-end thing. But the video should look a little bit better than my phone. Better, at least. I really want to do a video series on... If you listen to podcasts, you'll know about these guys. If not, you might know from, just from the games, if you play board games. There's a company called Oink. They make a ton of these, they're a Japanese company, they make a ton of these tiny little, uh, mostly party games. Uh, sometimes just board games, sometimes card games. Um, but they're tiny, that's the point. A lot of Japanese games, uh, board games in particular, are tiny. Because they have a lot of space, which I can relate to. Um, but they... I've made tons of these, and I own, like, oh, it must be like 12 of them at this point. Maybe not that many, maybe 10. Um, and I really like them. And I would like to do a video just going through some of them. Or maybe a series of videos going through those, reviewing them. Partly spurred on by the fact that we were playing, uh, you can listen to the podcast to hear more about this game, but we were playing a game called Kobe Akawa. Which was one of their first games that they recently did a reprint of. Because you couldn't get it for a long time. Because it was made of metal coins and I assume it just cost a fortune to make. Or well, not fortune, but you know what I mean. It's probably more than their usual games which are all cardboard. Um, but their production values are often actually quite good. Um, for example, there's a game called Fake Arts in New York and that game... Essentially like a variation of Pictionary, a mix of Pictionary and um, like a hidden role game. One person doesn't know what they're drawing and everyone is collaboratively drawing a thing. It's really fun and that box comes with like these nice little cards that have whiteboard on the back of them so you can reuse them which is really smart. Uh, but this Kobeikawa is just coins and cards that are numbered 0, or sorry, not 0, 1 to 15. And the way you play it is just you deal a card to everyone and everyone gets, I think, 10 coins. There's these nice big, well, they're not big, but they're little metal coins. They feel good. Um, 
and what happens is you have one card and you flip over the top card of deck once everyone has a card and leave it next to deck. And the goal of the game is you want to be the person that has the highest number at the end. And the trick to it is that if you have the lowest number, you add whatever the number is that's in the middle, that card you flipped over after you dealt all them. You add that to your number before you compare. Man, I've never died on this one, I've died on it twice in a row. <laughs> and that game's really cool. Um, because all the things you can do in your turn are either you can look at the card, like draw, sorry, draw a new card and look at the card and compare to yours and if you want it more because it's bigger or maybe because it's smaller and you want that middle one, then you put it, you put one of them in front of you basically. Whichever one you don't want to keep goes in front of you face up so everyone can see, hey, Kieran just discarded, uh, 12. What does that mean? Um, he must have something better, or maybe he has something worse, but it would be better if he adds a middle number in. And the other thing you can do is you can not look at the card and just flip it directly over and replace that middle number. Which is a good little gamble if you want that middle number, or also a good little gamble if you want to make sure no one else has that middle number. Like if that middle number is 14, Whoever has the lowest number has one, basically, no matter what. So, if you know that you definitely don't have the lowest number, you can flip it and replace that middle number so that it's something lower. But then maybe flip over and it's 15 and you're really screwed. It happens. I think it happened in one of our games. And then you like gamble using the fake coins, the little metal coins. Um, and you bet on basically whether you think you're gonna win the round or not. And it's cool. We played a ton of a, a recent board game day. I keep, I keep dying there because I'm focusing on the cannonball. <laughs> This level is gonna be like, or this episode is gonna be like two hours long. So, if I only put up one video this week, at least there'll be a big one, which is also good. So I think I've been playing this for like half an hour now. But that's fine by me. I could play Mario Maker all night. I shouldn't, but I could. I was thinking at some point in the future maybe streaming these. Because I don't really do the whole Twitch thing very much. But I do have it set up now. So I could just do it live and... I would also record it and I'd still cut it up in a way that looks nice on YouTube. I wouldn't just put the stream up. It would mean I probably wouldn't interact with chat much except for like between levels. Oh god, I was so close. Uh, just so I could keep these bits, like, clean for YouTube. But if that's something you guys would be interested in, let me know in the comments below or in the Waypoint thread, because I know a lot of you kind of just give me feedback in there, which is also good. I'm happy for that kind of feedback. And hey, if you've watched me play this level for half an hour now, then... Your opinions are the ones I care about most. <laughs> because... I would have given up watching this by now. That's not true, actually. I watched Patrick Plepic streams. He doesn't usually die this much in levels, though. This is like a Dan level. But Patrick Plepic, I am not. What happened there? I broke... I broke it. I broke the sinking of it somehow, because... I literally could not have dodged that. You saw it? What was I meant to do? 
if that happens again, I'm rage quitting. Because I can't, I can't do it. Alright, I'm going to give myself five more tries. Self-imposed five lives limit. And then if I can't do it, I'm going to stop recording. And I'll either give it another shot next time. It's four times now. Either I'll give it a shot next video or I'll finish it between levels, uh, between videos and I'll, I don't know, three. Ugh. That one doesn't seem like it should count. I'll see you at the end if I... I think I'm just dying in too many stupid ways now. Ugh, two. Maybe this was a bad idea. Uh, but yes, yeah, so if you've made it this far into the video, like, I'm sure you already know that I am actually enjoying this level despite how difficult it is, and how bad at it I am. And your feedback is the one I like most. So if you have any feedback for me, especially when it comes to the idea of live streaming, one more. Um, it would be hard to coordinate with what is mostly an American audience. Okay, that, that doesn't count. One more. Um, hard to coordinate with what is mostly an American audience, but I don't mind streaming in the evening, which would make it a better time for most people, I think. But yeah, let me know either in the comments or in that waypoint thread, which will be linked below as always. Uh, if you don't use the waypoint forums, then leave me a comment. Uh, and also, you don't need to be registered there to see the levels. This seems like something's went wrong here. I'm just going crazy. Oh god, the spikes! Okay, I'm giving up. I really want to try one more time though. I really want to try one more time. I feel so close. There we go. Okay, whatever. Fine. I give up. You beat me. You beat me, Diego. And that was only the first of your three levels. But I'm going to like it just now and I'm going to come back to it. I'm going to leave a comment here. I never left a comment not at the end of a level. But I'm doing it now. I'm breaking my tradition for you. This level's very hard, and it might be beyond me, but I'm going to try and finish it. Because it's really good. <laughs> it's just I'm bad at it. Uh, yeah, so you can find all level codes below. Link to the form threads below as well, where you can find these levels and more. And if you want to share yours, I will eventually get to it. If I ever finish this one. And take a look at our other videos. We have more Mario Maker videos. And we have Game of the Year videos from last year. Um, some reviews. I started a series uh, called You Might Have Missed. Where I was going through some indie games primarily that you might not have played. And then have kind of put on hold while I've been doing this. I'm working on a Wonder Song one of those. Because I've love wonder song but yeah subscribe all that stuff i'm gonna try and finish this level two hours later oh my god i did it there was nothing else past that pipe it was just another pipe taking to the end of the level I did it! You only took me another like 30 tries off camera. <laughs> Good level, Diego. I enjoyed it. It's impossibly difficult as it is. Oh, my controller's acting up now. It doesn't want me to post a comment. Good job. I will play. I will try to play. 
more of Diego's levels. Next episode. Goodbye for all this time.